I grew up in speakeasies and shit, you know what I'm saying? After hour spots and shit like that, that was my father's world and shit. I was right there with him and shit. Like, I was growing up right alongside the pool table, cutting dice games. Up all night, the whole, my father never allowed me to be a child around him. He gave me everything that he knew, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you got some yeah, niggas, their father the might have been a mechanic or some shit, a plumber, and that's what they teach to their child. My father was a hustler. My father rocked furs and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So that's what he breathed into me. And by the time I hopped off the porch in 93, just a waste of time for her to try to keep me away from the block man like it was things that i had to have that was on that fucking block and i went down there and i put in the fucking work you know what i'm saying my mom used to see me with older niggas and shit like that and after a while she she didn't question it you know what i'm saying she just let me go and shit you know what i'm saying and that's the crowd that i was in i ran with a bunch of older motherfuckers man like niggas that really had the block and the chokehold and shit and they they showed me off like you know what I'm saying? Priceless jewelry. They took me everywhere with them, man. I got a chance to see, you know, Biggie Smalls, Tupac, Heavy D, all types of experiences and shit that a, a regular kid wouldn't be exposed to, man, because I was running with them niggas that had it. You know what I'm saying? And I was chosen. Everybody's not chosen. It's just, a, you know, a chosen few. 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 Chos